Lines on Design. I am here today with Judy Thorpe. We are at the Pollock Home for the annual Coral Society Tour of Homes. What year is this? I think this I just our, asked you Yeah, that. our 27th mm -hmm. annual. And what makes this one so special? I think it's very special because of what houses we choose. Mm -hmm. The owners are really, really excited about decorating. And we're pretty experienced, and we get a lot of docents in the homes. I was just going to say, this is a well-oiled machine, and this year is no exception. It's at Belfair. Yes. The homes that you all chose are amazing. I've had the opportunity to be with Judy kind of for the mm -hmm. past month or two, and it is. Each one is very different from the other one. And today, who are we going to talk to? We're going to talk to Julie Pollack, okay. owner of this home. And it's a little bit before the actual tour. It's, and as a matter of fact, it's <laughs> right before Thanksgiving. So she's been decorating sort of in stages mm -hmm. for the holiday tour, which comes up in early December. December 4th. Is this the major fundraiser for the Coral it Society? It is the fundraiser for the Coral Society. Mm -hmm. And for the folks who may not know what the Coral Society really is and does, can you share a little bit about that? Well, we have four concerts a year. Mm -hmm. Everyone is welcome to join us. We're open open enrollment. <laughs> well, and, and no audition. <laughs> and you're good. Well, there's about a hundred of us. We, f we fluctuate with the um, moves of people. Mm -hmm. the snowbirds and, you know, people. We're, Christmas concert coming up is probably our Best biggest. attended. Yeah, we have more members here, and everybody likes to hear Christmas music. So. Well, I tell you what, what we're going to do today is take a sneak preview of this beautiful Pollock home. We're going to talk to Julie and also her designer, Laura, about some of the inspirations. So stay with us. We'll be right back on Lines on Design. We're back on Lines on Design. Julie is here with me. Laura is here with me. Laura has been the designer who has worked with you, Julie. And you have lived here how long? Uh, just over a year. We moved in on Thanksgiving last year. The place is unbelievable. This is probably one of my favorite houses I've ever been in. Let me start by kind of talking about your relationship and how you all got mm -hmm. um, to be partners in crime with this gorgeous place. Well, I was looking for a rug for the house mm -hmm. and went into a local rug store and Laura was there and started hanging out, hanging out, <laughs> hanging out, <laughs> and um, started talking about some design things and found out that she has a design company and so mm -hmm. invited her out to look at the property and she had so many great ideas. She came up with this whole one room dining room concept. Mm -hmm. When she walked in, she just knew the space and and personality-wise, we work well together. You hit we do, it off. Do yeah, you really, really do. together? You do some kind of cool things. I mean, as a designer, I think one of the things that interested interested me the most was your concept of design. You do a couple of cool things. I do. I do on home staging, but I also do what's called redesign. Mm -hmm. And redesign, especially in today's economy, um, you use what you have. And, you know, of course, you have to do shopping for a few new things. Right. But <laughs> oh, that's yeah. your job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is, you know, <laughs> twist my arm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, there, there are so many things that can be repurposed, and it saves so much money. And you're comfortable with what you have. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just... It's the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. I laugh and tell people all the time, and you probably feel the same way I do. When I walk into someone's house, it's all new stuff to me. So it's like going into somebody else's retail store, and you can. it's really fun. It is. It's a lot of fun. You have worked magic. It is great. Thank Between you. the two of you, I can just see the synergy, and it's really worked well. When I walk in, they brought out... You brought out some uh, table plates, uh, oh, tableware yes, yes, that you yes. had found that we're, you both we're, were flipping over. Well, the, <laughs> the plates we had, the glasses we found. So Let's talk about the inspiration for this room. And we are talking about the Coral Society Tour of Homes, so this is going to be on display for everything. And I think no matter what holiday season it is, this room speaks for itself. Absolutely. Um, th this was the one room, actually, that was not redone in the house. We sort of left everything. Did you? Yeah, we, I mean, of course, the chandeliers were added, but the color scheme, ceilings, everything were here, um, just brought the furniture in, and it worked. It, everything just worked. I just noticed the ceilings. Tell me yeah. about those, if you will. I, I wish I could tell you. We don't they really... Were I, I, they were here. Are they 10? I, I, we're, we're not sure. Uh, mm -hmm. I have not climbed on a ladder. <laughs> and, and tapped. And tapped. To see. I have not. <laughs> One of the interesting <laughs> things that you all have done is the way you've displayed items. Can you talk to me, Laura, a little bit, if you will, about some of the um, built-in? Well, these aren't built-ins. These are built-ins. <laughs> this room was originally a living room. And this niche was for entertainment. Your okay. TV and um, knowing what furniture Julie already had mm -hmm. and knowing the spaces, I thought this would be great. For your display, cabinets for your Murano glass, 
Um, and it's a nice mirror for the fireplace on the other side. Gorgeous the fireplace. Do you all, how do you use this place? Uh, well, last that. Christmas was our first Christmas here, and it was so much fun to actually be sitting here at the mm -hmm. dining room table with a real fire because it's not gas. And mm -hmm. it was just... It just was the perfect homey Christmas. Why do I feel like it's like stepping back in time in here? I guess the flavor, how would you all describe the flavor or the feel of this entire uh, compound or your home? Go design it. Go design it, yeah. <laughs> here, here. Um, <laughs> yeah, again, quite reminds <laughs> one to know. Uh, well, the whole compound is, is homey. It's cottagey, it's comfortable. Um, we have plenty of space, but it's not overwhelming. And Julie, when I think cottagey, oftentimes I will think cute. It's not right. cute. No, it's, it's not very, cute. It feels very French countryside to me, yes. very sophisticated, but like I could still curl up. Right. It's not a cottage by the lake. Feel. Correct. Mm -hmm. and, and exactly. And that's what we wanted to avoid. Yes. Well, this is an, I'd like to walk into the kitchen. There's a lot of great vignettes, great spaces to see. So we're going to look at the kitchen, I think. We're going to look at the, the little eating area. Sure. And then go out and see some of the other the outhouses. The out we're going to go to the outhouses. <laughs> All right, let's walk in. I do want, definitely want to see the kitchen. All right, guys, tell me what was your vision? Now it's kind of the set, the Julie and the Lori set. What were you thinking? Well, we wanted to change what was in here, really update everything. Okay. Laura knew that I was not going to be able to redo the cabinets. Okay. As much as I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And again, that's where my redesign comes in. Instead of ripping out all the cabinets and you know spending a fortune on new cabinets, the design was great. The cabinets were in great condition. We picked paint colors and applied a faux technique to the cabinets so they look antique. Can I tell you, it's it is amazing what you all have done. You love it too. I love it. I love it. And you know this. This is painted. So, yeah. We we, we knew. We, we couldn't change the cabinets themselves, mm -hmm. so we had to incorporate colors, and we looked uh, long and hard to find <laughs> the right countertop, and um, which we actually found at Kelco oh, Counters here okay. in um, Bluffton, mm -hmm. and then Laura helped come up with the, the paint, the, mm -hmm. the brown, which we just love. What did you think? Was she thinking new to... We're going to ask, what was in her mind? Was she thinking yeah. butter colors? What was, thinking? Thinking? what was she thinking? Yeah. Well, we wanted cottage. We wanted modern cottage. We didn't want dark because the house itself is fairly dark. Okay. Um, there's not a lot of natural light that comes in. Mm -hmm. So with the cabinets here being glass on both sides, the light continues through. Mm -hmm. The um, light color cabinets help reflect light. But then we wanted the chocolate brown to highlight the stove and the island area. That's so pretty. And this is a very open floor plan. Is that your thing? I mean, no, uh -huh. uh, not at all. <laughs> no. I, I, like, I sort of like being closed off in my kitchen where I do my cooking and, and I love entertaining. I usually don't want people in my space. Right. But now that I've lived here, I absolutely love do, having to open. Do you find it is like a keeping room where people just gather and oh, congregate? It's, even when we have our kids at the guest house and I've set up, I mean there's a kitchen out there and I've set up coffee, they still come over here yeah. in the morning to get their coffee and hang out. All right, talk to me about the body of the room here. They're very comfortable seating. I love how you, you, you centered it but nothing's against a wall. Right. Right, I, and it helps with the, the flow, yeah, okay. the traffic flow. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we didn't want to block the windows. Mm -hmm. So with, with having your sofa directly against the, you know, windows, and it, it just flows better. <laughs> well, and plus it's pretty, it's creative, and it's mm -hmm. not just squared off everywhere. It's okay. more welcoming. It I, really I, is. And you'll love this. I have to tell you, when I first walked in, I was talking to Julie, I'm like, so tell me about how she goes, well, we came in here, she goes, well, check out my chandelier. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's just, it, how, can I tell you where I got it? Yeah, how did Pottery you, Barn. No, you did not. <laughs> did. How did you find it? I, I had seen it in a catalog for years and always wanted it. And there was a so huge um, metal hanging chandelier, mm -hmm. right? Some, some, like a wagon wheel, okay. almost. Mm -hmm. And 
when we took that down, my husband said, no way is that little thing going to work. And it just, oh, I it love is. it. I'm so happy with it. I mean, we talk all the time, and I'm sure now you do too, scale. It's all about scale. It really is. And yeah. that just works. That's such a great area. Is that breakfast coffee area? Are you all outside a lot? Um, no, we actually don't. I mean, this past summer, it was so warm. We are outside, weather permitting. But, yeah, this is where we, we hang out. Oh, I love it. All right, we're going to take a quick break on Lines on Design. We're going to come right back, and we're going to check out the beautiful exterior. Stay with us. this guest house tell me how you use it again what are you thinking when you came in and oh by the way it is very festive in here I do feel like it's the holiday season your kids are gonna love it yeah yeah and we have a new grandchild so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the tree but I think she's she's about 15 16 months so what's her name Abigail oh she's oh she's gonna have a ball she is. yeah I, 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 and when we we knew we wanted to do kitschy with mm -hmm. this shag rug, mm -hmm. which was already okay. here, mm -hmm. uh, which was, again, was Laura's <laughs> okay. idea. Uh -huh. Well, it's funny because I walk in, I'm like, look at the pink and green. Oh, my gosh, how cute is that? Mm -hmm. Every single corner here is appointed with something fun and festive, and mm -hmm. it really looks great. How do you use this? Well, it's um, for guests, okay. um, our kids, um, whoever mm -hmm. happens to come. Frank's had a couple golfing weekends, and we've had different family, and it's just been perfect because, um, as you can see, there's a kitchen and two, bath wash, two, two, bedrooms. Ba two bedrooms, two baths, okay. washer and dryer, so they can just camp out here, Which and is it's really perfect. Which is really nice. All right, if, let's say I, I have guests here, or let's say we're staying here for fun uh -huh. for a weekend, and we want an adult place to go, or we feel like perhaps we need a confessional, if you will. <laughs> That's right down the path. Oh, you happen to have one? I happen to have one, and at night, the pathway is lit to it, so when we get lit, we can find <laughs> our way. Oh, look at this. This is good. All right, we got to go check this out. She's bad. You're bad. <laughs> All right, I do want to see it, because it's pretty cool. All right, come All right, on, guys. Come on. I love it. We are in the confessional. We <laughs> yes. women in the confessional. That's we don't right. Need a confessional. But this is really a fabulous, fabulous space. All right, you have to talk to us about the inception of the confessional. Well, there was nothing here. The facade of the building was here. This was a storage facility for the previous owner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was into cars, and so there was nothing out here. And my husband um, had as you can see, likes wine. Yes. And so we already had at our other home four wine cabinets full um, of wine. And so he started formulating a plan in his mind and this is his idea. And we mm -hmm. had a contractor, Full Circle Development, that we used who actually, this room just won the um, Builders Association oh, did Award. did really? 2011 Lighthouse Award for best overall. Um, so, And I'm going to talk about some of the walls. The walls are really interesting. The cork. Cork walls. And why cork? Well, Frank, my husband, um, designed the whole room. And mm -hmm. I think he think trying to keep it, yeah, mm -hmm. keeping in, in the, the mood. Well, and you know what's interesting about cork is um, I've recently done a bunch of research on it. It's used in submarines. It's sound absorbing. Mm -hmm. It is... Um, easy to maintain and clean. It doesn't absorb smells. So it's really a, a pretty perfect surface mm -hmm. for a room like this. And then the lighting, the ambient lighting is really good for mood also. Right. I love the seating arrangement. Yes. Tell me about the, that. Well, Frank got the humidor table because okay. the room is also vented. Um, so oh, you can smoke out here. Okay. To have our cigars out here. And um, we first started talking about leather chairs and started looking and, and decided the leather would be a little heavy out right. here. Um, so found the uh, chairs that I think really? thin it up a, a little yeah. bit <laughs> because it is such a, a, a masculine room with the colors. And, I love um, it. The track lighting, I mean, every inch of this is really interesting. And I wish we had time to really take you, you know, inch by inch to really look at it. Um, 
This is kind of an interesting counterpiece too. Yeah, again, my, Frank, I call him Frank, um, <laughs> Frank came, <laughs> came up with the dark granite and, and at first I thought that's going to be too much, but mm -hmm. And he picked out the backsplash himself. And, refrigerator? And the, everything here he, this he is picked great. out. Yeah. So is this uh, ice and refrigerator? These ice are great, and then that's the, isn't it? Um, you know, white wine refrigerator. So. And I love the use of your, your small tiles. I think they really work in here. It, it really does. They and add the light and reflection. Mm -hmm. the, um, that's what I was going to point out. The tile itself, you, know, you have such a variety mm -hmm. in the backsplash. The, the reflective just gives it a little bit of a modern edge. Exactly. And I like how you all decked it out for the uh, holidays, too. It looks pretty good that way, too, a little yeah. bit. Of, what were you, now, what was your thought? When, I wouldn't know how to begin to decorate this for Christmas. Well, we just wanted touches. We just wanted it to feel like winter in here, okay. like the holidays. So we started with the swags hanging from the lights. Um, and Julie had a great idea for a wine tree. I love this. <laughs> is so cute. It's my daughter said she had it. seen it on mm -hmm. a show, and she's because I told her we were going to decorate out uh -huh. here, and she said, "Oh, mom, I saw the cutest cocktail tree," and so found the the ornaments for mm -hmm. that. So. You guys have been working hard. We do. We work yeah. here. This is going to be a good tour. Judy's over here going, "Yeah, it looks uh -huh. really good." All right, we're going to walk from the confessional. What parts of the compound have we not seen yet? The office, okay. my husband's office. Can we so, go check that out? Absolutely. And on the way to the office, I think we should go by and show the pool because that area is gorgeous. And I will say, you said you're so disappointed at the time we're filming, though. Yes. Uh, the summer is just, there is so much in bloom around here. And yes, the camellias are in bloom now. But this summer, it was just stunning because there's constantly yes. something in bloom, the hydrangeas or the um, black-eyed Susans. Um, and, of course, this time of year, you're winding down. So, is it? Do you do a lot of your gardening, too? Do you love to get out there and piddle? I do. I found a great gardener, Ben Turner, who mm -hmm. is a local guy. He also does kayak tours. Just a great guy, and he knows plants. And See, I have a regular landscaping company okay. that comes in and does the yard. Right. Make, but for the plants, Ben has been a godsend. I don't know what I, I would do, but I do love piddling, and he's helped me further my gardening. And I, I do want to say too about your um, the pool as we're walking out. Okay. We'll talk a little bit about the pool because I love the um, the black bottom yes. of the pool. Yeah. yeah, so we were talking about the pool and okay. um, the original homeowner put in the black bottom pool and he was very unhappy with it. Uh, he and his wife didn't oh, use the pool that much. We love it. We spend a lot of time out there. I love um, it. Of course, one of my neighbors mentioned one of the first things about the black bottom pool. Oh, aren't you worried about snakes? And See, I, was like, I would never even think that. No, you? Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and I didn't. And of course, I'm swimming and the dogs weren't here. And I get down to the deep end and look at the filter and there's a snake. No. <laughs> Terrified of snakes. So I get up screaming, run across the street, get my neighbor who comes with a shovel Yes. <laughs> okay, a snake is a snake is a snake. snake. Do you exactly. spend a lot of time outside? Oh, gosh, yeah. And yeah. you know, I, I tell you what, as we were walking in by the pool, you, we also looked at the gorgeous orange tree. There were kumquats. There's all kinds of gardens. There are supposed to be vineyards, but all the animals have been enjoying the grapes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Where are we now? This is Frank's office. Okay. Yes. Inspiration, ma'am? Masculine. Frank wanted his own space, so... Um, we gave him his own space. <laughs> One of the things that you all have done so well is, and I don't know if you've noticed this in some of the other places, but interesting use of shelving. Mm -hmm. When you least expect it, these walls that are sort of an odd size, if you will, yes. what do you do with them? Exactly. And these the shelves, just from molding, it's perfect to add a little... I love it. Nick here and there. The look looks... Well, you guys did a great job. Talk to me, if you will, while I'm grabbing stuff, because these are the cutest things ever. And I already know you don't know who I did this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Linda Holly, I think. Uh -huh. So we have an event here at Belfair, and she um, does Santas. We had in the guest house. Uh, I call them my Hilton Head Santa because oh, it's the pink, pink and green. green. Pink and green one on yeah. the sofa. And um, yeah, they are adorable and just uh, you know, like he's two sided. You can see. You know his what? Face. Well, let me ask you this about design. And, and one of the things that I've noticed, Julie, in the home is you've been everything looks festive it's decorated for the holidays but it's not necessarily what i would call over the top 
Was that by purpose? Is yes. that yeah? Talk to me a little bit about how do you decide? How do you decide how much or how little? A lot of Julie's whole property is just about feeling, and that's what we wanted to go with um, in all the rooms. We mm -hmm. wanted to show a Christmas spirit, but without having Santa Clauses everywhere and stuff and stuff and mm -hmm. just you know, knickknacks and you know so. By the use of greenery and some candles and a little splash of color here and there, uh, even the, oh, the that's reindeer, what I like. yeah, it, it gives that feeling without. I think both of us grew up in homes <laughs> where our mothers made Christmas explode. Okay, and we that was the one thing that we agreed on. Yeah, we're just not going to no, ex no <laughs> explosion <laughs> of Christmas. Well, and you know the other thing that I have found interesting, and, and I think you've heard both Laura and Julie chat about this, is it doesn't always have to be expensive. You've gotten some fun, great things that yeah. you've picked up. I'm like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? Michael's or I mean, Target. It's just, yeah. And, and, and then Laura was great. Um, I had a lot of stuff here, and she's found <laughs> ways to incorporate it and which is again what redesign. she likes yeah redesign. yeah exactly so the it's been, redesign and it's it's been wonderful and and a pretty painless and guilt free is it yes. and, and, and it won't take you four days to disassemble it no either. and my family's going to be here so they can help take everything down, well and so. frank's going to shoot us if we don't talk a little bit about some of the great things in his space yeah well he d this is all sort of repurposed from another house on oh, um, the car table and mm -hmm. uh, he, yeah it, and he needs a space because even when he's on vacation he's not on vacation right he's working he's still and he needs always to get away because he does work internationally and he has to to be available I, well I tell you what this has been so much fun and we've only just touched kind of the compound there's beautiful things but you, like I said it's it's very comfortable. I do feel a bit like I'm in Europe, I have to say. There are little hints of the low country, pink and green Santa, for oh, example. Sure. <laughs> thank you, Julie. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank We've you. learned a lot, too, which is a lot of fun. We want to thank you all for joining us here on Lines on Design. Have a great holiday. Bye-bye. <laughs>